What's up everybody, Badass here with another Starfield video. I hope you enjoyed the first video. From this point on, we're going to go ahead and do commentary like usual in our games. Um, we're going to go ahead and obviously continue on with our quests, continue on through the game. Um, I'm feeling this my way through this um, kind of blind, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure exactly like what the best things are and you know what even resources to be farming and stuff like that. So in fact, even some of the menus and stuff I'm kind of struggling with. In fact, if you see, I have this fast travel directly from the missions menu. I've done that multiple times and that menu has not gone away, that little prompt. So I don't even know how to get rid of that. So I don't know if it's something I'm doing or if it's something that is a glitch in the game, but whatever, it is what it is. So far, the game is fantastic. Um, obviously, we've only barely scratched the surface of it but we're gonna continue on and move forward if y'all enjoyed the videos please drop a like and if you want more if you need more subscribe let's do it okay cool so it looks like at least two of these are in here which is good so um let's go ahead and talk to noel first that was intense wasn't it the artifacts i mean Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank <sighs> you for bringing the artifact to us. So let's go ahead and uh, get through some dialogue. Here. Oh, gosh. No, I mean, that's, that's flattery. But really, we're making this up as we go. Until you arrived, we only had the two. And the vaguest sense that there was something more at work. There's still so much we don't know, and that means a lot of work ahead of us. Everything all right? Oh, right, that. If we're approaching this rationally, I suppose we'd call them visual and auditory hallucinations. What you perceived as lights and music could be overloaded neural input. Your brain's attempt to make sense of something. An energy surge, some other phenomenon. Okay. Let's see. Unfortunately, that's what a lot of people report in these situations. I'm not saying you didn't really see anything. Just that it's really hard to determine after the fact. That's okay. Now that this has happened to both you and Barrett, we can know to maybe expect it in the future. Be a little more prepared. We're all in this together now, right? Well, Constellation's been around forever, more than 50 years now. But we only became aware of the artifacts recently. Barrett discovered the first one about two years ago, right under our noses. And he was the one who got this all in motion. It's a shame he isn't here to see this. Of course, there's plenty of planets out there that no one has ever set foot on, and everything we learn about them is valuable. We have a board where we post anything specific we're looking for. A type of alien flora or fauna, or a planet with a specific quality, like if it's primed to have life but doesn't yet. Well, right now nothing's off the table. Metallurgical analysis, chemical composition, I'm looking at everything. One thing I'm really trying to improve is my overall database of xenobiology. I don't know if it will help in this case, but the more we know about, well, everything, the better off we are, right? Speaking of, if you're gonna be out there looking for more artifacts, you're bound to come across some interesting specimens. Anything organic, I'd be happy to take it off your hands. I can't be certain that they will, but more data points are always a good thing. I don't want to rule out anything that could provide a breakthrough. And if it sweetens the deal, I can pay. Pretty well, too. Walter's pockets may not be bottomless, but they are pretty deep. Cool. Okay, let's take a look.
All right, so we're going to go ahead and try to get as many credits as we can for right now. Obviously, our mass is pretty high. We need to actually um, sell from shipping. Which was this? Uh, the, let's see what we have here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. I'm sure we can collect more as we need. We need to get our weight down and our credits up. Oh, we need that stuff. Planning on sticking around then? Good. I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right. So you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. at your service, Captain. Thank you, Vasco. Appreciate it, bud. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself. Within reason, of course. Okay. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. Of it's been nice is. having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room okay. on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Okay. Sweet, we have our own place. Cool. Let's go ahead and check it out. Take that. Okay. Storage. Okay. Cool. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, get a feel for the game. Here we go. Very nice. Go ahead and take a quick uh, siesta. So I'm wondering if the well rested um, gives you like uh, like extra XP and stuff like in Fallout. Yeah, we don't need any of this this stuff right now. So we can go ahead and look around. What up, bro? Ask if you've got questions. Speak up if you have ideas. We're all here for the same reason. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. 
you matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Let's see, artifacts came out of caves. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. That sure lines up with everything else about these artifacts. It's all connected. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? Take care of yourself. Cool. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. So we can kind of come back to this place and uh, collect some of these items and stuff. Maybe, yeah. Uh, let's see. We're just going to collect things that we need. Uh, I'm sure we can probably build our own uh, apartment or whatever in this pharmaceutical lab use. Okay. okay. So it looks like you, you can craft items here. Okay, cool. So. Okay, so we don't have any of these things, it looks like, so... Da -da -da. Well, penicillin, just in case. Snake oil, huh? Yeah. We can get out of there. We don't have the resources that we need yet, obviously, so we're going to kind of continue on. Bile, bile, bile. Computers, blah, 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 blah. These are bottles. Uh, I'm not sure if we need these. Let's go ahead and collect it, just in case. It's just a bottle, microscope. Eggmund, desk assistant. I don't know if it didn't say we can even use it, so I'm not worried about that. So let's kind of move on. So this was our, well, this is not our room, okay. This is the bathroom. All right. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if... I did, now would be a good time for one. Okay. 
Okay, cool. So they keep telling us to get a drink, so let's go ahead and maybe do that. Let's, let's, oh, it's locked. Oh, I unlocked it. Okay, cool. Is this to the outside? Yeah, it's kind of what I thought. Pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and go back inside so we can finish the dialogue with the, uh, the other Constellation members. Okay. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Oh, there she is. You we'll sit down and talk to her. Me? Yep. So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? Not much, but you've seen them for yourself. It doesn't take a lot to realize we're dealing with something extraordinary. Just what that is, we'll have to figure out. It's what we do. We're explorers. Humanity has always hunted for knowledge in the unknown. We just take that a little more seriously than others. We were founded decades ago by a man named Sebastian Banks. He wanted a small group of people from all corners of the settled systems dedicated to the biggest question of all. What's out there? These artifacts could be everything we've been looking for. Another great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. I don't know what you've heard, but I can imagine. First of all, I think you can dismiss any stories about us no longer existing. Hmm? I don't believe in smearing our name everywhere we can. Exploring the universe, charting the unknown, that's what counts. Besides, having a little mystery gives us room to maneuver. A fixed reputation could fence us in a lot of ways. I understand. You've been through a lot. Just let me know when. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and... Um, Bet you never expected to end up involved in something like this. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and talk to the people outside. Go through those dialogues, and then we'll come back. Let's go talk to the scientists by the tree. Let's go. So I'm sure this game will get easier as we go when it comes to the UI and stuff. For me, it's a little bit, it's a little odd right now, but we'll get it. Bartender at the viewpoint would stop complaining to security. I don't know what she lost, but she won't get it back by. I'm point. sorry, I really can't afford to be distracted. I need to get to the bottom of this. I am not staring, I am analyzing. This is important xenobiological work. I work for the scientific division of MAST. I've been studying this tree for quite some time, and it appears to be exhibiting some. Worrying signs. Okay. Are you familiar with this particular specimen? Do you understand its importance? Look, I have a lot of work to do here. If you're just going to gawk, I'd ask that you move on. If you can actually assist me, however, I would appreciate it. I don't normally solicit help from random passersby, but it seems an exception is necessary. Would you be willing to retrieve some additional data for me? A mercenary, huh? Well, I'm sure we can work something out. So, are you on board? Well, that's... Thank you. That's unexpected. Ah, there's a series of biosensors I've placed in various locations around New Atlantis, all calibrated to gather pertinent information. They've been running for long enough that I think it's time to collect and analyze their findings. 
If you would okay, bring cool. him to me, seems simple. Let's do it. Save time. Okay. So we'll kind of go this way first. Let's go. Let's make sure it's the. Uh... Oh, there we go. Let's locate the biosensors. Yeah. This will give us a kind of a vibe for the uh, a little uh, a vibe and a little bit of a uh, feel for the area as well. Sensor. I almost like first person better in this game, to be honest. Fallout, I kind of like third. We'll grab that one, then kind of work our way back. Okay, cool. Okay, welcome to Atlantis. Let's go ahead and look through this. Okay, we have to speak to John Tuwala in the mast. Cool. We can remember to do that. Alright, so. Don't you think it would be good for them to spend some time? I'm gonna grab this uh this one over here. That one. Cool. Let's continue on. Beautiful. Let's make sure we're going in the right place here. Okay, cool. So we are going in the right place. Let's go. Oh, 
All right, so let's start going to the commercial district. Ah, here we go. We have to get up there, okay. Sergeant Yumi's looking for a reliable people to help the guard. Contact him if you're interested. We'd all appreciate it. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. So if you see some, can you tell me? Well, he's been taking them, huh? Yeah, it was. Weird, right? Miss Seng over at UC Distribution bought the one I found, and she said she might buy more if I can find them. I could really use the credits. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right, we need to go get them from this other person over here. Let's see. So if you guys are playing this game, uh, go ahead and drop a comment if you all enjoying it uh, as well uh, or not. Um, I'm not sure the character I'm going to build, to be honest. I'm going to kind of let the game uh, play out. I did put a poll up. Um, it and it was years. kind of more just a, you know, just curious <laughs> what you guys thought or whatever. But uh, yeah, we're going to kind of see how this plays out because you never know with the games how, you know, the mechanics are and what's good and what's not and stuff like that. So what's fun to play with as well. Let's go ahead and find. Here we go. Get to go back here. Yeah. People joke, say those Varun zealots worship a snake. But let me tell you, it ain't a snake. It's some kind of celestial being. They call it the Great Serpent. <laughs> is it real? Hell if I know. But they think it is, and that makes them dangerous. Yeah, that's some sort of religious faction in this. Let's go ahead and speak to Wen Sing. I'm pleased to report that our stocks are currently being maintained at 90% or higher. I'm sure we have anything you might need. Welcome to UC Distribution. Now, before you say a word, I am required to inform you that formal complaints cannot be filed until the customer feedback system is back online. I have been told it'll be up and running in two weeks, but you know how these things are. I am sorry for any potential inconvenience. Also, if you're here about a corporate account, I've been assured that deliveries will be back on schedule soon. Who, Jordan? <laughs> that kid's in here every other day with some random thing he found. Trying to get credits. Yeah, I took pity on him. Why, what is it? Oh, really? Well, you can have it back for what I paid for it, plus a little extra. <laughs> Let's call course. it a convenience fee, shall we? I could, but I did pay for it. I'd like to recover my losses, and it's all the way in the back room. I'd have to walk back there, then back out here. You did say this was important after all. Honestly, it's probably worth way more than what we're talking about. Right, right. Come back if you need to. Yeah, let's go to the back room and see if we can take this shit. You have a nice day now. Okay. Fuck y'all. Alright, that's how you do it. 
Take notes. Take notes. Alright, so now... We gotta move on this way. Let's go. This is a really cool, like, hub headquarters kind of thing that they did build, and it looks like I'm going the wrong way. So, let's go. I wonder if there's a karma system in this game, like in Fallout. I mean, not like it does shit in Fallout anyway, but... Let's see? Yeah, I think games should have this kind of, like, hub kind of headquarters stuff more often. Uh, apply for a job. Okay, cool. You know, like, I know, you know, I'm a big Call of Duty fan, and World War II had a nice kind of headquarters. I really wish they'd keep that in there. Um, so I think it'd be really cool. I think most games should have a kind of area you can come back to, re you know, reset, you know, go through your missions. So, we'll learn this hub area. It'll probably take me a little longer than it should, but... I really do need that additional data. Yeah, I got you, bro. If it isn't my favorite, almost a lab assistant. What oh, I, <laughs> I see how it is now. I gotcha, gotcha. Let's see. Uh... So you do. Wonderful. I'll just take these, and we'll see what they have to tell us. All right, we'll just upload the data. Give it a moment. And just another moment. It's got a bad Wi-Fi signal. signal. Mm -hmm. Ah, there it is. Good relief. Now, let's see. This is... Well, it's... Oh well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that my suspicions were correct. There is something wrong with the tree. I will report my findings to Mast immediately with no small amount of satisfaction. The phrase, I told you so, may even be uttered more than once. Yes, it does feel good to be right. Particularly when others have attempted to convince you otherwise. Repeatedly. The bad news, as it were, is that the internal composition of the tree is changing. In this particular case, the tree is now regularly emitting ultra-low frequency sound waves. They're nearly imperceptible now, but they're growing in strength. This is something we've never observed before. Depending on how large these waves grow, consequences for the city could be disastrous. I must consult with my colleagues in MAST at once. Thank you for your assistance. I hope these credits are adequate compensation. 2,000 credits. Seems like pretty good, huh? Awesome. To the grind. Let's see, roaming the city. We had a Let's go ahead and talk to Sarah. Okay, I'm getting more used to the uh, UI and stuff. So go ahead and talk to her about the mission, and uh, we'll see kind of where that leads us. And we may wind up um, ending the video there, and then kind of moving forward uh, after that. So, let's see what we got.
I am at your service, Captain. We're just at the beginning of this mystery, and you're going to be there for it. We're we going ready. to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. A volunteer force that helps defend the edges of United Colonies space. They're always looking for recruits. Lots of retired veterans and dangerous professionals mixed in with part-timers who barely have a laser cannon welded to a hull. My contact is in the recruiting office, so he hears a lot about what the volunteers are up to. Okay. We have to assume that we're not the only ones to have stumbled into this mystery. But most people aren't going into space looking for the unknown. They're looking for places to settle, resources to extract, territory to defend. An odd-looking rock or a single strange hunk of metal wouldn't mean much to them. That's why Constellation exists, in a way. To put pieces like this together. Okay. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. You mean besides the ship, the robot, and a place to stay all rent-free? Yes. We do have some funds we can disperse from time to time. Not to mention, I think we can get you a there proper we go. suit. We're what? explorers. We keep a lot of equipment on hand for that purpose. So the more you work with us, there the we more go. we can share what we have. Here we go. Not under for free. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Understood. Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? Let's. Let's talk to Sarah's contact. Oh, cool, that prompt went away. Thank God. Alright. Alright. There's our contact over there. Oops, that's not what we wanted to do. So it looks like you probably have to go this way, actually. Probably this way, yeah. So I'm hearing little critters and creatures around. I wonder if you can actually see them. Catch a critter or something. Who's this? Just look like a stash box or something. I can get some ammo out of it or something. Right. So it looks like we have to go up these stairs into that building. Oh, there we go. We'll talk to the contact. Sarah, good to see you. Who's your... Uh, another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? Okay, that, that sounds pretty good. 
United Colonies volunteer fleet. Independent captains enlist, get to use their own ships, and the UC provides them with sustained work and credits. Here we go. And Sounds good. time, and you're guaranteed UC citizenship and everything that comes with it. Discounts on UC goods and medical services, chance to own a place in New Atlantis. Only way a foreign captain could even dream of seeing those sorts of benefits. So, you want in? Excellent. Just need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, a knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy get-up of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first, head down to the orientation hall and get signed up at the registration terminal. The system will walk you through the rest. Oh, and if you got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. The process starts with registration down in the orientation hall. Or did you have a question? Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. Oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it, before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. A Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Okay. Matches that description Sarah gave me. You kidding? Lowest posting request rate in the whole fleet. Only thing there the UC cares about is Mars. And no one wants to go to Mars. They want to get off Mars. Okay. Oh, he goes way back. I think he was recruit number 81 or something. What? <laughs> nah. Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. Yeah. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. Yeah, bring a coloring book. You get so used to seeing red, you'll forget what blues and greens look like. You'll have to ask him. The Vanguard volunteers have retrieval rights if they get into a scrap. Wouldn't be surprised if he found it off of a pirate or something like that. Anything for Sarah. UC always takes care of its own. Even the prodigal children. No, oh, brother. Show us up, show on the map. All right, let's jump. We might need to put our spacesuit on, though. Be advised, you are entering United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Okay. Enjoy Sidonia. Let's go. Still figuring the UI out. We'll get there. We'll get there. Suit on. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. 
Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather drab city. Let's go talk. Talk to this person. No, hold on. Environmental damage. So it's got to be aid, right? Try to remit use to treat afflictions. Doesn't say if afflictions restores. A There we go. There we go. Okay, that's what that is. All right, cool. All right, we should be good. Always Let's nice to get back in the broken spear after a long what day. Do you mean there's no work? Yeah. Do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride? The broken to spear, huh? Here we go. Not everyone needs to come to me with their problems. I ain't a psychiatrist. Plenty. But if I wasn't blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. Okay. You don't guess. You know that. And you better know it if you want to keep drinking at my bar. Uh oh. Sassy, huh? He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Uh oh. Got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. Oh, believe me, I've heard it. After about round three or four, it was all he would talk about. He's got a voice that carries. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially when it's missing. <laughs> but <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but... If I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Huh. Okay. No, I've done this routine. Let's skip to the part where you admit you're lying about what he owes. You call me a liar? I'll throw both of you out of this bar right now. Oh, please. Two strangers arrive from Offworld asking for information only you have. You see an opportunity. Everyone always does. Lower the price. Don't think we can't find another way to get what we want. Fine. Come on. Life on Sidonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Yeah. I'll get your point. Well, maybe he's not gonna get found. I'm out the cash either way. That's how the Blackest Sea works sometimes. That's enough. Either pay up or get out. I'm done talking about this.
agreed on a discount, right? Let me confirm the amount. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. You have to learn the, the the dialogue and how to persuade people in this. Go to Venus. Oh, we're gonna put our suit on again. Um, now what? Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealots. You ever run into one? Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent, the devourer of the unbelievers. Okay. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. No, no other ship readings in the area. And I doubt they'd be so calm if a vanguard had flown by recently. No, but I think I see something else that might. There's a UC satellite beacon hovering distressingly close to those Varun ships. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Okay. Exactly. Minimal ship power. Go slow. We grab the data on that satellite and jump away. Assuming we're doing the right thing right now. Got within, we have to get within 500 meters of that. Undetected.
just going right for the middle here. Got a Nova Galactic Star. Yeah, yeah, I know. The whole place is decommissioned. And I need parts for emergency repairs. Hopefully it hasn't been picked clean yet. Oh, that's not good. Earth and everything around it was abandoned a long time ago. And the old star yards are crawling with spacers and other scavengers. I wonder if we have to just fly there or looks like it's not that far away. Let's see. on this uh, asteroid. Check the uh, quest real quick. Okay, cool. Nova, okay. Star Yard. Okay, looks like we're heading there. Okay, cool. So we'll go ahead and travel to it. Okay, I'm, I'm understanding the UI and stuff. I'm getting it, getting it. More and more. Ah, oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. Okay. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started, managing the exodus. Okay. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Hmm. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Okay. You will need to select the ship in your HUD and then fly close enough to it so the dot prop appears, okay? What is hail? Kind of travel to it. Safe. 
two different rolls. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Place a little stealthy. I wonder if that space helmet's better than what I actually have. So there's a lot of bodies over here. We'll go ahead and check the bodies out and see if there's any key cards or anything like that. Probably won't be. Probably most of it will be random items. Um, you know, key cards, ammo would be good. That's not just medical in here. We're going to need to switch our weapon already. for anything. Okay, cool. Actually, let's see what we got here. Oh, did, really? Oh, game really. to the Grendel. I need to start favoriting things. I'm really not ready for. Oops, I'm really not ready for this. Like good aid, lamb.
Beautiful. We got a shotgun now. Did she just kill him off the rip and I couldn't do shit to him? Okay. We're gonna have to favorite these things. How do I favorite these things? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Boom. Beautiful. This is really good here. Awesome. Um, let me figure this out here. Yeah, the one thing I don't like is like they're sticking out. You you can see them, and you're still not doing damage on them. We're gonna have to do some health health stuff. We're trying here, it's just a little awkward to be honest. Switch back to our shotgun. A lot of bed packs for this, it feels like.
I think I've gotten a lot of, uh... So we're gonna drop some of these. Oops. Whatever. Opening new doors, finding new things, maybe this is a good thing. Here we go. Alright. Beautiful. We need to get back out of here. Wonder if we need to put our space stuff on. Move on. See, I gotta get used to the combat more. It, 
Okay, here we go. Okay, cool. So I need to actually get this all set up and fixed. That's my fault. Um, I'm not sure if it's board or cockpit. So let's see what we got here. Okay, undock. There we go. Okay. Speak with Wait, Hilton Brush. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Okay. Vanguard to civilian ship. Come in. If you stop shooting at us, we'll be more than happy to respond. I'm not sure if I'm targeting engines or not. So we have to target a certain part of the ship. I mean, the back part of the ship is the, are the engines. I didn't know 
those four of them sitting there. She's doing more damage than I am. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. Okay, let's go. Am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Ecliptic mercs, they'll work for anyone. And vanguards don't exactly make friends with local pirates, thieves, and scavengers. I think enough of them finally got fed up and they pool their money to hire professionals. Hmm. What? You guys still exist? Man, I've only heard stories. We've heard stories, too. About a strange object you found on patrol. So, you know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? <laughs> okay. I'll trade some weird space rock for a rescue anytime. Hope you figure out whatever that thing is. Let's go. The artifact. Okay. Good work. Let's get back to the lodge. Right, let's go. To you next. So it looks like we need to return to the lodge. So of course. Same as before. There's a massive outfit as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Yeah, it looks like we gotta put all these pieces together. Mm, that's speculation, but I think you're right. We need more. Here. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full cool. member this time. Well, if you ever find a relic bottle from Earth, we'll all be happy to share it with you. By the way, have one, actually. how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I sure. want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. All right. We've got a few more leads we should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Sam Co has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know they're packing up the operation on Vectera. 
But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. Bam. All right, cool. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, end the recording there. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, controls are a little awkward for me right now, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put things in my favorited category, so I'm not flipping through the, the menu every time. Um, we're definitely going to get better at this, and I appreciate you guys hanging in. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.